Well, many families are returning to their houses this week after evacuating before the storm almost two weeks ago. Heather Fontaine takes us inside one woman's home who says it wasn't just Ida that invaded her space. Oh, careful for the glass. Um, and it smells good, right? <laughs> Finding a way to laugh after the ceiling collapsed over Tammy Vicente's guest room and home office. You can see my computer under there, my work, little workstation there. But the damage inside her home isn't only from Hurricane Ida. There used to be a big, uh, you know, big screen TV here, and there was another one up in, small one in my bedroom. Uh, that are now missing. Tammy evacuated to Florida the night before wind and rain from the storm hit her New Orleans East house. She didn't come back for over a week. They broke the locks on the door. She says looters also tried to take her washer and dryer, but weren't successful. Here I am, a house full of food, a cupboard full of food that they could have took, and they took a TV instead. <laughs> you know, I mean, they could have used the food before it went bad. Tammy has lived on Lakeview Court for seven years. This was like a painting on a canvas. You know, those little things that you won't be able to replace. Through the broken glass, she's reminded of her neighbors, damaged too. Her street now lined with stuffed garbage cans. So even though I'm in the middle of a mess, at least I'm home. <laughs> though she says she's unsettled by those who felt the need to take after so much was already lost. The safety and my own feeling secure, uh, that, that's the part I need to build back up. And I think a nice big lock on my door, <laughs> my security system will take care of that. But amidst the flooding in her backyard, there's a sign of strength. A single bench marked with the Florida Lee still standing under a nearly toppled fence. Look at that. That's right there. Nola Strong. That's that, you know, that little bench, that little Florida Lee bench is holding up that whole big fence. Tammy is staying in a hotel until she can find some help to clean up the mess upstairs. A GoFundMe account has already been created. You can find that on our website, WWLTV.com. In New Orleans East, I'm Heather Fountaine, Eyewitness News.